Have you ever wanted to change a piece of clothing or a vehicle from white to black or even gray? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can do that just using two adjustment layers found within Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And you wanna make sure you've got a photo that has got a white subject that you want to turn to black. Now, this subject can pretty, pretty much be anything. For instance, in my case, it's a car, but it could be a piece of clothing, or maybe it could be a shoe. So pretty much the possibilities are endless. So write down in the comments below what particular effect or object you're cutting out. So in this particular case, as you can see, it is an Audi car, and as you can see, at this moment, it is pure white. Now, this particular effect can also work on other colors as well, but as long as they are pale, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two adjustment layers to make sure we are getting pure black. Right, so firstly, once you've opened the photo, we need to make sure that we've got a selection. So we're only affecting the areas we want. If we applied a global style, the photo would look black and obviously then there's just a black photo. So we want to make sure we are targeting the exact area within the photo. And firstly, what we need to do is to create a selection. Now, there are multiple ways of creating selections in Photoshop, but to be honest, I think my favorite way, although it does take the longest, is using the pen tool. You can use the quick selection tool or the lasso tool, it's completely up to you, but I'm going to use a pen tool in this particular tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the left-hand side tools panel, we're gonna go ahead and select the pen tool, or it is P on your keyboard. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and zoom in, and I'm going to cut out this car, but so this tutorial isn't about a hundred years long. I'm going to speed this bit up. Lovely, so once you have made or you're finished your pen tool, if you've used it like me, we just need to simply turn that into a selection. So what we're gonna do is make sure you've got it activated. We're gonna go to our paths tool, so uh, channels uh, all the way over to paths. If you've got your work path here or the path that you've made, double click on that work path and wanna save it. So I'm just gonna call this one path one for the meantime. And I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Then to actually activate it, to turn from a path into a selection, we're gonna go ahead and press command and we're going to click on that layer. And as you can see, we have now turned it into a selection. But obviously there are no necessarily sharp, super sharp edges in photos. So we need to add a slight feather to that. What we're gonna do is go to select, drop down to modify, and then we're gonna go ahead and select feather. Now I'd probably recommend a one to two pixel feather. I'm probably gonna do, uh, let's do two pixels in this particular case. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay. That will just blur the edges to make it look a little bit more realistic. Right, so once we've done that, we now need to create two adjustment layers. We're gonna create a curves adjustment layer. Then we're going to use the black and white adjustment layer. So let's go, go back to our layers panel that you can find on the right hand side here. Drop down to our adjustment layers icon and firstly we are going to go ahead and select curves. Now because we had that selection activated when we made the adjustment layer, as you can see that selection has now been applied to our adjustment layers layer mask which is really handy. So what we can do is go down to our adjustment layers again guys and we're going to go ahead and create black and white. Now obviously this one has not been applied because we did not have the selection activated. So what we're going to do is go to that curves adjustment layer, alt or option click on that and drag upwards. And that will do is that will copy and paste that layer mask onto our new adjustment layer. So as you see, our adjustment layers now are only going to be affecting the area that we have selected, which is obviously the paintwork, the white section of the area that we're going to be changing. So let's go ahead and change it to black. Double click on our curves adjustment layer, Go to the top right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner, you've got these two dots, which is our pure white and pure black. And we're gonna go ahead and bring those closer together. So we're gonna go ahead and bring those in like so. The closer you bring them in, the closer black you will create. I like going in around 75%, but it just looks jet black. There is no contrast to it. So what we're gonna do is gonna add in an S style contrast curve to add in a little bit more contrast to that area. So what I'm gonna do is bring up the white slightly here 
and bring down the shadows. So as you can see, we're creating an S style curve while still keeping this nice black look. Now, the reason we've made a black and white adjustment layer is to keep it monochromatic or to keep it black. If you had a slight color tone to your uh, piece of clothing or car in this particular case, that will be replicated within the black, making it maybe a, a dark blue or a dark green. But in this particular case, because we've made that a black, black and white adjustment layer, it will keep it black. If I turn it off, as you can see, there's not a major change, but in some cases you can see there's a little bit of blue coming through. And that is because the, you know, it was reflecting some blue within the photo. Now, it, you could keep it, but in this particular case, I like keeping it pure black and white. So we've got that black and white adjustment layer. And what I can do is show you the before, as you can see, pure white, and show you the after. And as you can see, it is black and it works for paintwork. It works for tinting a window, just not to, you know, don't make it so extreme. It works for pieces of clothing, shoes, even works for side of houses. So go give this effect a go. And here's one I made earlier, which I spent a little bit more time on the selection. So here is the before and here is the after. And write it down in the comments below if this particular effect worked for you.